Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we have seen how you can embed a flex card in an Omniscript. In the previous example, the flex card that we used was showing a data of its own. But there, there might be a situation you, where you would want to pass the data of the Omniscript to the Lightning Web Component or the Flex card. Now, if you see the documentation on docs.velocity.com, you would see that there are certain properties that are offered by the Flex card using which we can pass the data from Omniscript to the flex card. As you can see on the screen, there are three properties that we can use. The first is record ID. Second is parent attribute. And on the third option, we need to pass two properties. First is parent data and the second is records. In this example, we are going to demonstrate the very first property record ID using which we can pass a record ID into a flex card using the record ID property. Flex cards use record IDs to perform data queries. Let's try to understand this with the help of a diagram. This is your Omniscript this is your flex card. Now flex card in this example is offering a property known as record ID. If you want to refer to this record ID on the flex card, you can do it with the example of this merge field. When passing the data from Omniscript to the flex card, you have to set this particular property in this specified format which is record dash id and you can pass any json data node in omniscript let's move ahead and see the example for this demonstration i have created a data raptor extract which is acting on account object and the filtration is being done on ID. It is expecting a variable known as record ID using which it can filter the records based on the ID field. Let's preview the output of this particular data raptor. I have set the key as a record ID and passing a valid record ID which I have taken from this Burlington Textiles Corp of America. We are getting the data in this format. Now let's go ahead and create a flex card to show this data. Our flex card is created successfully. Let's go and set up the data source. Our data source, that is the data raptor, is expecting an input. And the input key is going to be REC ID. Now 
we will take the value of rec id from the merge field that we have referred to in this example in this diagram that is record id as soon as we enter this value it's going to create a test parameter with the name that we have supplied over here record id and for the testing purpose you can enter any value which is valid so if you go to the account and copy this particular value that is the id of this record we would go back and paste this id here and we would try to click on save and fetch and we are getting the data here as you can see now one very important point to be noted down is the json that we are getting over here is coming in the form of an array denoted by this square bracket now this is important to note because if, if you go ahead and try to show any field that has been mapped automatically and try to preview it, you won't be able to preview any data. See, there is no data as such, but as we have seen, it was available when we fetched the records from here. So in order to be able to see this record, we need to make a small change. You have to check this repeat options and make it true. Another important configuration is you have to make the Omniscript support set to true so that we would be able to embed this on the Omniscript. I will quickly add a few more fields on this layout.
all right we are all set now let's activate this flex card okay now if you see closely this particular flex card is expecting a data which is going to come from our omni script this particular value of record id we need to send it from our omni script because right now we are providing this particular value in our test parameters so let's let's let's, let's go and create an omni script On the first step, we are going to add one input field and we will make it read only. In this particular field, we are going to take the context ID. And if you are not familiar with context ID, it is basically the ID that we are fetching from the current record. We are going to host this particular Omni script on a record page of accounts so that it can automatically map the record ID to the context ID. And in this context ID, we will make it read only and in the default value. Now, if you should be familiar with this uh, merge field syntax of Omni script, it goes like this. the value of context field we are getting, going to get from the record page okay let's go again back to build and we will add another step here in step 2 we are going to embed our custom lightning web component using which we can embed our flex card select our flex card and inside this custom lightning web component properties we need to set a record id as shown here this is the particular property name and you have to use this particular name only if you use anything else it's not going to show up on the flex card these are fixed property names as you can see and we are going to pass the value of context id 
this is the particular JSON node that we are going to pass on this property. So let's just activate this version. Okay, now in, in in order to see this Omniscript in action, we have to go to the account record page. You go to any record and we'll have to embed that uh, Omniscript here so that it, it can fetch the uh, value of the context ID. So we go and edit the page. I have just dragged and dropped the Omniscript onto the record page. Activate this. Let's go back. As you can see, this particular value of record ID is being fetched to this context ID variable. And if we click next, it should show the related details of the accounts that we have configured on the flex card. Here it is. These are the values. So that is it for this video. Do like and share this video if you find this helpful also uh, comment down your questions so that I can get back to you thank you so much